Have you ever seen this error message when you're uploading to YouTube? You're trying to get your videos uploaded and encoded as quickly as possible and you get kind of thrown when you see this error message saying the video you uploaded may have audio slash video sync issues and you're absolutely convinced that it hasn't. Or alternatively it may say upload it in a streamable format and you're like saying well I thought this was a streamable format because mp4 is used for that quite widely. Well really what YouTube wants in, an, in a perfect world is a file that has not only the video information in, but also information about how the video is laid out. And the reason it needs that is because when you upload it, it, it knows as it's being uploaded, because it's already got that information, when and which chunks it can start encoding. So what it will actually do, because in some ways it is pretty good, is it will start processing chunks of your video before it's completely uploaded. And that can make the processing so much quicker because if you can imagine you've got a video and it has to wait till it's fully uploaded and and then it can start processing it and maybe it can only one pr process one bit at once alternatively you can take your video and start uploading it and once the kind of first chunks finished uploading it starts processing that chunk and does the same as it's going along with all the rest of the chunks and at the end you may have five chunks all processing at the same time well, that's bound to be loads quicker, isn't it? And it's really simple to do. All you need to do uh, is put it into a different container. So put it into an MKV container. And uh, you can do that using a tool called MKV Tool Nix. And I'm going to bring that up on screen now. Let me just call this up and let's have a look, see what we've got here. So MKV Tool Nix and you can do, you can Google search this. I know you're all ca perfectly capable of Google searching, but uh, it's available in all sorts of different flavors. And there is one for Windows and you can get it in a uh, portable version if you don't want to install it, but I have just installed it. And uh, so I personally export out to MP4 and then also create a copy in MKV because I, I need, my, need MP4s for other things because uh, certain things don't support MKV quite so well or the mkv container so let's show you it in action quickly if i load it up here there is a lot you can do with this tool i have no doubt but i really just use the de the defaults um and it comes up with this to start with and i pretty much just drag a file into here and i do have one here which is quite a large file it's i'll just bring this on screen you'll see here that this is an mp4 file and it's a two gig file so it's pretty large if i just drag it into there it then says yeah 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 whatever fine that's that's all the all the defaults are perfectly okay this isn't a tutorial about using mkv tool nix and if you just do start muxing start multiplexing you'll see the progress down the bottom here is quick this is not re-encoding the file this is just re-wrapping it in a new container and the good thing about the mkv container is that it contains all that data that youtube needs to create uh, to, to process stuff really quickly so i don't I'm not sure where that where's it put that right so here we go we now have video samples so that's 2.06 let's have a look at the exact file sizes and compare the two and okay we've got uh 064. so there's a slight very slight difference in size but not much to it and if we just have a look at the media info properties of this file you'll see that it's classed as matroska because that's the wrapper that's the uh, container it's in but it's actually an mp it's an actually just a standard mp4 avc file so if you do that before you upload your videos to youtube you will notice a vast improvement. You will not get any error messages. And everyone's a winner. That's it from me for now. Hope that tip's useful. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.